channel. That was a quick test of the traditional ice chest radiator and fan system and it worked really well. I had this unit running for an hour and it's still giving 24 degrees Celsius of cold air. With that 3S LiPo pack over there, it's 4000 mAh 3 cell and I could have this running for hours. So as a proof of concept, this worked really well. Now we need to shrink down everything here and make it wearable so that it's truly a portable personal cooling system. Well, to make our own portable aircon, we need this small portable fan, a small water radiator, a 5 volts pump, an ice water block, a water reservoir, some 8mm tubing and 4mm tubing, and a couple of adapters to convert 8mm to 4mm. Now that was a quick test of the closed loop system here. The closed loop system has the water contained inside the loop. So when I turn on the pump here via the power bank, the pump will circulate the water in the loop. Water will go out of the pump through this water block and circulate through the fins of the radiator, exit the radiator and back to the pump and the cycle continues. The beauty of this system is that the water inside the reservoir does not go into the water block or the radiator, so it's clean. And once the ice has melted, you could drink the water. However, the heat exchange is poor because there is a layer of plastic between the ice and the water block. And it takes longer for the water inside the closed loop to reach the equilibrium. And as you can see from the test just now, we are seeing a reduction from 29.3 degrees Celsius of room temperature to 27 degrees Celsius, which is not that good. Alright, this is the setup for the open loop system. Instead of using the cold water from the water block here, which is not cold enough, we are feeding ice water directly from the reservoir through this inlet to the pump, and then the pump circulates the ice water to the fin and back to the reservoir via this tubing. Also if you notice here I have used the adapters, the 8mm to 4mm adapters. This will allow us to use the thinner 4mm tubings which will keep everything looking neater and less clunky. Now let me show you how the radiator is secured to the fan. Basically we have installed two screws to the mounting holes at the bottom. The two mounting holes are similar to the ones here at the top. And the two screws are held in place by these two plastic tabs. Now if you're wondering what these plastic tabs are for, basically this is a waste mounted fan. So you secure this to your belt at your waist. And to prevent the ends of the t-shirt from blocking the air in inlets, we have these plastic tabs that will hold the end of your t-shirt. Yeah, so basically these plastic tabs are now pressing against the screws, keeping the fan in the middle. And it's very secure. There's no glue required or anything like that. And this piece of plastic comes from the back of a notebook. It's flexible plastic and you could cut it easily with a pair of scissors. So what we're going to do is to cut this template here and fold it along this line and this line. And then we could mount this to cover all the gaps around to ensure that all the air drawn by the fan goes through the cold fins of the radiator for best results. Well, unfortunately, the slim profile plastic bottle is made of hard plastic so once the water is frozen it cracked the bottle and it can't be used anymore 
Alright, here's the final version of the open loop system. There are a few upgrades. First of all, I have replaced the cracked hard plastic reservoir with a flexible one. This is the bottle of the windshield wash. So you can find this in hardware store. And because this bottle is made of flexible plastic, it's not going to crack. Now all the gaps are sealed up using the plastic template which I have shown you earlier. So now everything is good to go and the fan will be drawing in air through the radiator which will be cold. Alright, let's put on the lid and see whether it works. Alright, the moment of truth, I'm going to turn on the palm by connecting the power bank. Let's wait for a while for the water to flow. Well, I learned that for the water to start circulating, it's easier to speed it up by lifting up the radiator above the water level, like so. Yep, now the water is flowing, which is good. Once the circulation has started and stabilized, I could then lower the radiator and the flow will still continue. Now let's take a room temperature measurement. That's 29.8 degrees Celsius in this room. Now let's measure the output air. Wow, it's 19.3 degrees Celsius. Really working. This is like a mini AC in my pump. In this shot, you can see that I have the water reservoir and the pump in this aluminium thermal bag, and then the whole bag is concealed in this pouch here. I need to turn on the pump first. Now I can put in the power bank and zip up everything. Yep. So it's really cooling. And the outlook is really neat. Just the pouch and the portable fan. Hey guys, I'm back from my walk and this wearable aircon unit actually kept me cool throughout the one hour of walking. Now let's measure the output air to see what temperature is giving out. 17.4 degrees Celsius, still cold. But I must say that this is a very successful project. I hope you enjoy the video content and will consider making one for yourself. That's all I have for this video. Thank you for watching and see you again.